In the early 20th century, Albert Einstein shocked the entire world when he published his theory of special relativity. And in this theory, he said that the faster an object moves, the slower time actually ticks for that object. So really fast moving objects, time actually slows down for them relative to objects like me moving at normal human speeds. That's a pretty wild claim. So how did Einstein explain this to people and what's the proof? It's really quite brilliant. So Einstein said, imagine there's a train car that's going by, right? And the the train is in position one, then it's position two, then it's position three. These are just three snapshots of where the train is as it moves from left to right. And then he said, imagine there's a person on this train, that's person A, and there's another person on the train tracks or to the side just watching this train go by, and that's person B. Now imagine this train's wall is invisible so that person B can see what's going on inside. And let's say there's a laser that fires at point one. So at this instant, the laser shoots straight up, hits the ceiling, and then bounces back. Well, what's person A going to observe? They're going to look up and just see the laser hit the roof and come back down. And so the laser travels up a distance of L and another L to get back. So a total distance of 2L. But the person standing and watching the train zip by, they're going to see the laser shoot up and it's going to hit the ceiling and then it's going to hit the ground again. So from their point of view, the laser actually traveled a much greater distance. Instead of going L and then L again, it's traveling this greater distance called L prime and then it has to go L prime to get back to the ground. So here's where it gets really wild. For the person standing on the train, we know that speed is just equal to distance divided by time. And we can rearrange that and write it as time equals distance divided by speed. So that's just an equation in physics. So from their perspective, the person on the car, the distance is L and then L back. The laser had to go up, hit the ceiling and come back again. So that's a distance of 2L divided by the speed of light. Time equals distance divided by speed. But the person who was standing and watching the train go by, from their point of view, the laser had to travel L prime and then L prime back again. So that's a total distance of 2L prime, which is much greater than the distance of 2L from the perspective of the person on the train. And so when you look at the time that went by for person A versus person B, it's very clear that for person B, because it traveled a much greater distance at the same speed, much more time must have gone by for that person compared to person A, which means that time actually slowed down for the faster moving object and it was a very different rate of time passage for the person standing still. A very simple thought experiment, but very accurate and very true.